हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माई नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड अवर फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर सेकेंड मॉड्यूल एंड अवर सेकेंड मॉड्यूल इज फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सी एंड our actual c programming is starting from our this module so let us see what are the topics which we have to learn in this module so our first topic is history of c programming means what is the origin of c programming then after next is a features and structure of c programming structure is a most important question because for making a program we have to knowledge about the structure right then after next topic is a c tokens and different data types then we have to learn different operators in detail then next is a different type conversion methods and operator precedence and last topic is a manage input output so these all are the topics we are going to discuss in our second module and today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about first two topics so let us start with a history of c programming so roots of all modern languages is the algol language and it is introduced in 1960s by international group then after in 1967 martin richards has created one language that is called as a bcpl language and the full form of bcpl is basic combined programming language then after Ken Thompson has created one language using the features of the same language BCPL in 1970 and that is called as a simply B language and this B language is mainly created for making a system software but these languages are typeless languages that's why in 1972 Dennis Ritchie has created one language that is called as a traditional c language and he has used the features of bcpl and b languages and introduced the new concept like data types and different operators and many more functions then after in 1978 kerninghan and ricci has published one book that is called as a c programming and after some time it is popular by k and rc what is the meaning of k and rc k means cunningham and r means ricci then after in 1989 ansi committee has defined some standards for c language and the full form of ansi is american national standard institute and these standards are approved by iso committee in 1990s and that is called as a ansi iso c iso means international standard organization and then after further improvement occurs and in 1999 standardization committee thought that we have to add some features of c++ and java language in our c programming so after adding this feature the final language is created that is called as a c99 so this is the all about history of c programming now next move to the features of c programming let us see the importance of c programming that why we have to learn what is the requirement so first feature is c is a robust language now what is the meaning of robust robust means strong and it is called as a robust because in c programming we have a rich set of operators and different inbuilt functions that's why it is called as a robust then after second feature is a portable what is the meaning of portability suppose i'm writing one program and it is in a one computer and the same program i want to execute on another machine then we can do it by using little modification or no modification so that is called as a portability then third feature is a middle level language uh, in previous for module we have learned different types of languages like 
high level language low level language and assembly language and in that module we had seen that c is a high level language but a uh, c language is the combination of low level and high level language that's why it is called as a middle level language because it is also used for creating a system software as well as application software next is a modular suppose we have a one complex program then we can solve it using dividing into different modules and after that modules we can combine it in a one single program so it is called as a modular programming then next is a fast and efficient just remember the concept of compiler and interpreter difference what is the difference between compiler and interpreter by execution speed a uh, compiler is a uh, faster compared to interpreter and for c programming we have to use compiler that's why we can say that it is a uh, fast and efficient then easy to extend means uh, we have already different inbuilt functions available in our system library but user want to create his own function then we can create it and add in our library that's why it is called as a easy to extend it is also called as a structured language because in next topic we are going to see the structure of c programming that what are the sections we have to follow so we have to write step by step compulsory that's why it is called as a structured language and C programming has only 32 keywords means you have to just remember 32 keywords and that keywords are using in our programming and what is keyword keyword is a predefined words and it has a fixed meaning so let us see the structure of C programming in detail and it is very important theory for making program right so here in this structure some of the sections are mandatory and some of the optional so let us see one by one first section is a documentation section and documentation section consist author detail then program name then input output all types of details and it is a optional section but what is the important of this section when you have a write one program and the same program you want to pass another person then if you have a write the details of your program then the other person can easily understand that what is the definition of program what will be the input what will be the output that's why it is a important part and a uh, documentation section we can write in two different ways first is a single line comment and second is a multiple line comment so how we can write single line comment just see in example using double slash we have to write our statement here write a sample program is a comment line and when compiler execute our program this comment line will not be executed by our compiler so we can write anything in our comment line this is a single line uh, single comment line but if you want to write multiple comment line then you have to first slash star then after write this statements and at last again we have to do star and slash at the ending of our last statement in this way we can write our comment line move to the second section and that is link section what is the function of link section it is used to link our program to the system libraries and it is a mandatory section how we can write it just see the example hash include studio.h now what is the meaning of system library here studio is a one library and the full form of studio is a standard input output so if you want to use any type of input and output function then these all are the functions are available in this particular library so if you want to use this function then compulsory we have to include this library dot h 
is a extension and it is also called as a header file that's why the extension is dot h and we have many li different libraries available but here i have shown only one library as a example then next section is a definition section again it is a optional part and the meaning of definition section is used to define all symbolic constant means if you want to do any arithmetic operation like just take one example area of circle so what is the formula of area of circle it is a pi r square right so in pi r square uh, pi has a fixed value that is 3.14 and in your whole program these value will never change right it is a constant so this type of constant value we can define in our definition section and how we can define it just to see the example first write hash then define then pi space the value of our pi that is nothing but 3.14 next is a global declaration section again it is a optional part but when you have a some variables that you want to use in different different functions or many more functions then compulsory we have to declare these variables globally globally means outside all the functions so just to see the example int means integer and integer a is a global declaration of our variable and in this section we can also declare our user defined function our next part is a main function and every c program must have a one function that is main function and our whole coding we have to write in this function and just remember that always function starting with curly bracket and ending with closing curly bracket and main contains again two parts first is a declaration part and second is a executable part now if you want to do any operation then first you have to take some variables of particular data types right so first part we have to declare it and then and then we can use it in our program or logic so here in example integer b is the declaration part and when you use this b variable in your statement like c is equal to a plus b or just print the value of b that is called as a executable part so the remaining logic portion is called as a executable part and one more thing we have to remember that the statements which we are going to use in a main statement main function that's all are always ending with semicolon so remember this thing and our last section is again optional part that is sub program section and what we can write it in sub program section we can define our user defined functions that are declared in our global declaration part and here you can define uh, many functions uh, that are limitless means you can define one function two function up to n function so which are the compulsory part link section and main section are mandatory parts for our programming and remaining sections are optional part so hope guys you understand the structure of c program very well and if you have any query regarding this structure it will result in our next video and our next video will be practical session and in practical session we are going to see that how we can write the program according to our structure and all remaining topics we will discuss further till then take care bye bye thank you so much